Hello, I'm Abby Clausen, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Liberty Mutual is getting into the short film business. Its recent TV ad campaign celebrating random acts of kindness was a hit with the public. And now, the insurance giant has launched a website to offer a constant stream of the same kind of mini-dramas online. Liberty Mutual Group Senior VP, Steve Sullivan. This whole message of our campaign about um, personal responsibility, we, we, we got thousands of emails and letters from people. So we started this thing called the Responsibility Project, and uh, it's a website. We are putting every two weeks a new short uh, feature film on some aspect. We're going all over getting different uh, uh, writers and directors to do these little short films. Some are humorous, some are serious, there'll be documentaries, there may even be an, a, a music video. But what we want people to do is come there and say, oh, that's great, and, and I'm going to use that for my PTO meeting next week, or I'm going to use that in school. And now, French fries and fashion. McDonald's, that down-market bastion of cholesterol and rumpled fast-fooders, is sponsoring, of all things, a fashion show on MySpace TV. The program is Who, What, Where, produced by 60 Frames Entertainment. It's focused on high-style runway couture and the latest in Hollywood fashions, but without the celebrity snark. The concept was created by two former editors of Elle magazine. McDonald's is sponsoring a special segment called Ask a Stylist and running its value menu ads at the beginning and end of each show. Anya Carroll, a director of U.S. marketing at McDonald's, admits the partnership is probably counterintuitive, but getting closer to a well-heeled audience that can afford to spend in a recession is a high priority for the restaurant chain. In the wake of an awkward controversy, Absolute Vodka has issued a public apology for an ad in its Absolute World series. Designed for the Mexican market, the ad showed a map of North America as it might have looked if Mexico had won its 19th century territorial battles with the U.S., the conflicts that made the Alamo such a famous symbol. On the map, a swath of continent from Texas to California is shown as modern Mexican states. In a mea culpa published on its website, Absolute said, quote, this particular ad, which ran in Mexico, was based upon historical perspectives and was created with a Mexican sensibility. In no way was this meant to offend or disparage, nor does it advocate an altering of borders, nor does it lend support to any anti-American sentiment, nor does it reflect immigration issues." Unquote. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Abby Clausen at Advertising Age in New York.